In this video, I'm going to be going over with you guys how skipping legs actually hinders your upper body gains and how if you actually train legs properly and if you actually want a pussy and if you are actually serious about the gym and you train legs then you'd be making a lot more progress up here, right? And before we get into this video, I just want to briefly introduce myself to you guys and to you guys who do not know me already. So, my name is Ryan and over the past three and a half years, I have undergone a physical and mental transformation, transforming myself from this in 2021 to now looking like this in 2024. And I'm on a mission to help and inspire skinny young men who struggle to gain weight and who actually want to squat with their physiques, but they're a little bit confused and they don't necessarily know how to. And I basically just want to help them do that. And in order to help me make this happen, I've really recently just launched my very own online community called Slim to Sculpt Alliance, which helps, it's in a name, help skinny guys sculpt their physique so if you're interested in that and if you want a little bit of guidance and you know once i can gain your trust then the top link is in the description completely free no strings attached so now you know that is there and what i'm all about now let's get into this video so how skipping legs actually hinders your upper body you know your upper body gains so the, there's, a, there's a few things i want to go into in terms of how this is the case right and the first one that i want to go into is how leg workouts actually increase your hormonal responses in your body and especially from an anabolic hormones right and if you skip legs and you're missing out on this hormonal response and this is because there's actually been many many studies that have shown that if you incorporate heavy proper hard leg training and workouts into your routine then that is going to increase a response and the levels of your anabolic hormones in your body so for example your testosterone and your growth hormone and it also increases the release of these hormones and these hormones are absolutely crucial and they play a vital role in muscle building muscle repair quality of training and obviously muscle growth and this is because so first of all let me go through the testosterone with you guys so obviously testosterone plays a key role in the process of muscle protein synthesis and i'm not going to go into it in too much detail but this process is basically where muscle repair and muscle growth happens right and the more testosterone you have um you know the more efficient that process is going to be happening in your body therefore it's going to help your muscles repair faster and obviously grow more right and human growth hormone basically just obviously it aids muscle growth it helps the body burn fat right so your muscle to fat ratio is going to be very very nice and obviously it increases the rate of repair of your muscle tissues as the testosterone does as well and these spikes and releases of these anabolic hormones they basically help obviously growth and recovery and all those processes throughout your body you've got to think about it like this why on earth do bodybuilders take test and human growth hormones as performance enhancers right that's because obviously they want, to, they want to grow as much muscle as physically possible. And these hormones obviously contribute to that because they help repair. They obviously help muscle growth. They can train harder and all of this stuff. So, you know, if you can increase the amount of that naturally produced in your body, then you're going to maximize natural growth and you're going to fulfill your potential, right? It's so important that you stop fucking skipping legs, you pussy, because, you know, you're going to miss out on the, uh, on you know, Horm these hormonal responses and the increase of that in your body and that's the first thing as to why skipping legs hinders your upper body gains because you know you're missing out on the benefits of the recovery the repair and all of that stuff which you know if you actually get that in your routine then obviously you're going to be able to increase as our processes therefore you can grow all over your body right now on to the second reason as to why skipping legs hinders your upper body gains and this is because a balanced body is a stronger body right and if you're skipping legs your body is going to be disproportionate you're going to have a nice upper body but you're going to have twigs which will look stupid as legs right and this is going to lead to you know functional imbalances you know skipping legs doesn't just make you look silly right it negatively affects how your body moves and how your body performs in the gym and this is because without strong legs you're not going to have stability and you're not going to have balance which can actually reduce your performance in the gym right for example if you're if you've got weak legs and you want to do barbell rows in order to um in order to grow your back right in order to actually perform them properly and if, if you actually want to progressively overload and give the 
back the weight it needs in order to grow. You need to obviously be able to have stability with the legs. You need to be able to have relatively strong hamstrings in order to hold the position because with barbell rows, you're, you know, you're bent over by 45 degrees. So you need that stability in your legs. And if you don't train legs, the likelihood of you not having that is going to be very high. Therefore, you can't be able, you can't withstand the weight that your back actually needs in order to grow. Therefore, you're going to be hindering your progression, right? However, if you actually train legs, you'd have that base, you'd have that stability when you're doing barbell rows therefore you can use the weight that your back needs in order to grow and you can progressively overload therefore you're going to be able to stimulate muscle growth easier and you're going to be able to improve the you know the quality of your performance in the gym and of your exercises right so it's absolutely crucial that you train legs in order to you know for, for the stability reasons for the balance reasons so it's absolutely crucial that you train legs in order to keep everything balanced so you know your body can can, can perform as a unit and so you can actually, you know, have that base and that stability when you perform exercises such as barbell rows or your heavy presses where you can, ha you know, provide leg drive and provide the stability. When you're doing barbell rows, when you're slowly bent over, your hamstrings are strong enough to provide the stability. Therefore, you can maximize output and you can actually uh, be more efficient when you're training. Therefore, you know, when you're doing barbell rows, if you've got strong hamstrings, you can use 100 kilos to do barbell rows because your hamstrings can withstand that. Then you're going to be able to undergo muscle growth in the upper body, right? So it's so important that, you know, you realize that a balanced body is a stronger body overall. And, you know, it's important that you ensure that your body performs as one unit, right? Now, let's move on to uh, reason number three as to why training legs, um, skipping legs, sorry, actually hinders your upper body gains. And if you actually weren't a pussy, then you'd see growth all over, right? And this is because when you train legs and when you do a hard, proper leg session, you're going to increase your rate of fat loss. And this is because your legs make up a huge portion of your body, obviously, right? It's a whole lower half of your body, right? And um, leg muscles make up a significant amount of you know they make up a significant portion of your muscle mass on your body therefore when you train legs your you know more energy is required and more energy is demanded therefore obviously when you train legs you got to expend more energy in order to keep up with the demand of properly training your legs therefore you're going to burn more calories and this can lead to you know this can lead to increase in the rate of fat loss right and another reason why you increase the rate of fat loss through skipping legs is because as your legs make up uh, uh, make up a significant portion of your muscle mass on your body as i said your metabolism is going to slowly increase over time and your metabolism is slowly going to get faster over time and this is because due to your muscles being in your in your lower body being large obviously and you exerting so much energy when you train them they need more energy in order to be able to recover properly right therefore this slowly over time increases your metabolism and if you're not too sure what you know a fast metabolism is basically um a met the, basically the metabolic rate of yourself is your ability to be able to burn calories and burn fat whether you're resting or whether you're you know you're doing physical activity so if you've got a fast metabolism you can burn fat and you can burn calories really efficiently and really easily and quickly no matter whether you're you know whether you're resting or you're doing physical activity and this can also contribute i want to add another thing as well and this can also contribute to you being able to handle more food a lot easier so as a skinny guy watching this if you have an increased metabolism that's perfect because you can eat more food your body can handle more food therefore that's absolutely perfect if you're on a bulk and gain muscle and obviously um obviously that must that food doesn't necessarily just go to the lower body as i said it will help the upper body so it's so important that you just train legs because it helps your you know it helps your um helps your upper body gains for these reasons right and the final reason as to why skipping legs hinders your upper body gains is because you miss out on the disciplinary and the mental benefits that legs actually gives you and this is because as we all know as we all know legs is by far out of any other muscle group to train the hardest to train and the hardest to stimulate and the hardest to grow because it's so painful and you've got to go above and beyond and this is also because you know uh, it requires the most energy and it requires the most output and effort and you honestly feel dead and destroyed after a leg session and it's pretty funny i'm talking about this now because i hit legs on saturday with one of my mates and i genuinely think i've got the worst muscle soreness i've ever had in my legs right it's painful you've got to go above and beyond right when i was on that leg press on saturday i went above and beyond i went beyond 
my mental and my pain barriers and that's what legs provides you you go beyond you go above and beyond your mental and your pain barriers which is so important because you can actually transfer that into when you train upper body therefore you can train harder you can have more efficient sessions you can push yourself more because you know you know what it's like to go above and beyond your pain threshold therefore you can take that into your upper body sessions therefore you can train better your performance is going to get better your strength is going to go up you're going to be able to stimulate your muscles easier uh, because you can push the failure even more therefore that's going to inevitably lead to muscle growth in the long term right and because you're actually because you actually commit to something aka training legs that's ridiculously hard and mentally challenging then that can lead to you increasing your discipline right you know you show up when you even when you don't want to right and that is so important in terms of long-term growth for you know upper body and you know just in general right so that marks the end of this video i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and you've truly learned something if you have i'd really really appreciate it if you could drop a like a comment and a subscription down below it would help me out an unbelievable amount and obviously you can learn more from me because you know if you do those things then the algorithm is going to recommend me to you more right and i'm uploading three times every single week so you don't want to miss out on any of the wisdom that i'm giving out and any of the gems i'm dropping right and as i said at the beginning of the video if you're a skinny young man and you want some guidance and you're not necessarily sure how to sculpt your physique then it'll be the top link in the description join the slim to sculpt alliance there's already 45 brothers in there and it hasn't even been two weeks and i've got some really exciting stuff dropping and by the time this video is out there will be some exciting stuff in the community so i hope to see you inside and i'll be absolutely delighted if i do and without further ado i will see you guys in the next video Wah,